I needed a sleeping bag for the JP Fat Bike Pursuit, and one of the requirements was a zero degree sleeping bag. So I searched on Amazon because my local shops in my mountain town don't carry that cold of sleeping bags. So I went to Amazon and found LMR zero degree sleeping bag. I made the order on February 19th and I just picked it up at the post office today at March 7th. So it came pretty quick. I got the package in the mail and I got excited and I ripped it. And then I thought, hey, I should do a review on this product. It's 24 degrees. There's snow on the ground. I just got home from work. It's about almost midnight. So I figure it's a good time to set it up and test. It's not exactly zero degrees, but might as well get a feel for camping in the snow. Like every camping trip, you gotta have a little whiskey. Cheesy, I know, right? And some beer. Here's my layer I used. It's like that stuff they use in Packages for the post office. I just got this air core insulated air mattress. And the Chinook Bivy, which I haven't used. Alright, so this is a sleeping bag. Not sure what this blue thing is. Oh, it looks like a cool sleeping pad. Oh, maybe I'll use that instead of this. Oh, cool. Little pillow. I have a sleeping bag. It's got a little weight to it, but zero degree bags are pretty. So the rating here has ice, snow, 1200. Recommended sleep zone, 10 to negative 20. Extreme survival, negative 37. A top quality winter. It's got a baffle for the zipper. Got baffles around the neck. Good. Like any good camper, I'm going to go to sleep watching a movie and enjoy a beverage. <sighs> Pretty toasty in here so far. But yeah, I usually like to go to bed and some merino wool thermals as well. Good night.
So last night, the top part of my sleeping bag was very warm. The lower part, I could feel the cold air through this air mattress. I don't know if it's because I'm on a deck and it's like the bridge effect. So there is no real ground insulation underneath. So as one reviewer on Amazon had mentioned, they thought there would be more loft. Um, I haven't really compared the lofts, but uh, it was pretty, you can feel the heaviness. This big air core Agnes mattress, 20 by 66. I might want to get a longer one for winter camping because my head and feet, and I'm pretty short, still were hanging over. That might have helped. But I really did like the Chinook um, bivy sack. Because I've had bivy sacks where it's right on my face and I feel, suffoca I feel suffocated, claustrophobic. Here I had a nice vent. So I was able to breathe and sleep well. One of the things I was looking for when I do review or when I look at reviews is how the bag compresses and compare it to this is about the size of an Algene bottle, a little longer. June Lake Growler Brewery. I'm a big fan of this compression sack, so I'll buy a new one. It's one of those ultralight waterproof ones. So there's a comparison in size. Gotta have clothes in case your hands get cold. Alright, well, that's my first time sleeping in snow. Not sure if that counts because it's on the deck of my house, but it's a good way to test it. Alright, thank you.